Hello, it's Richard from OneSite Solutions. Welcome to this video on tagging. So we're going to be looking at the Haystack Dictionary, how to add that, the Niagara Dictionary, which is uh, or has already been added to our station by default, um, and how to add our own tag dictionary, so we can create our own, and also how to add a tag to a component. So to start with, um, we're going to look at the underneath our config services tag dictionary service you can see there's one there called Niagara if I uh, double click on tag dictionary service to have a look at the tag dictionary manager you can see there is uh, it's got a namespace uh, so a namespace is just a shortcut really to save us typing out Niagara every time it's uh, it's always a lower case well it doesn't have to be lowercase but we use a lowercase and if you add the haystack one, if I open up the haystack palette, just by dropping that onto the tag dictionary service, you can see now that has its own namespace of HS, which is obviously for haystack. So if we go and look in here, um, there's quite a lot of tag definitions already been set up that we can use um, we can add them as direct tags um, so there's a fair few in there that have been added by haystack and there's also some tag rules for the haystack so a lot of tags will get implied just by um, at, you know when we create the component they get implied to that component so to show you that if I go to my one of my um, components that I've added in my playground area right click on it and go to edit tags Down the bottom, there's a direct tags and implied tags. So the direct ones are ones I've added myself, and implied ones are a result of the rules and conditions that are set up in each one of these dictionaries. So you can see there's lots of haystack ones and uh, a few Niagara ones as well at the top. So if I wanted to add a tag to this component, boiler flow temperature, I first will need to select. Um, which which uh, tag dictionary I want to use. So if I went to Haystack, I could then do a filter. See if there. Oh, so this is just looking at groups. If I open up my tags, I can do a, a fil use this filter. Type in a B for boiler, and I can add a Haystack boiler tag in there. Okay, that's nice and easy to do that. So if I want to add a flow in there as well, I could do F for flow. There's a flow. And is there a temperature? Let's do a T for temperature. Yes, there is. So I've got three haystack tags on there now um, on my boiler flow temperature. So if I do a search now, so sorry, I haven't talked about searches. There are three ways you can search. You can either use this uh, quick search at the top, you can, or you can open up the search service, which actually by typing in here will open up that search service anyway. Or in the sidebar, there's also another search. Um, there's a search in your sidebar that you can use as well. Okay, so um, so if I go up here now and type in HS for haystack, colon, and uh, boiler, it will find wherever I've added that tag. So I've only added it here on my boiler flow temperature. Um, and if I could also type in there and uh, HS flow, and it will still find the same point. So if I go to my uh, next point here, my boiler return temperature, if I right click on there and say edit tags, using the haystack again, I could add the same uh, temperature one, I can also add the boiler one, and this time I'll be adding the return. So I've now got uh, three, uh, two tags that are the same as the first one I've done and, and one different tag. So this time, if I do a search for um, boiler, HS boiler, it will find two points, two components. Um, if I now put in and uh, HS return, it will just find the return sensor. So you can see how these, uh, as you create your tags onto your components, how you can use this search function. And actually, when we start setting up hierarchies, these are the sort of queries that we'd set up for hierarchies as well. Um, so 
if I wanted to create my own tag dictionary, if I go back to my tag dictionary service and click on new, once I'm in my tag dictionary manager, you can click on new and add one tag dictionary. Give it a name. So mine will be one site solutions and my namespace lowercase o. And now I need to, uh, if I open it up in my sidebar, uh, I need to add some tag definitions. So to do that, I need to open up a tag dictionary palette. And uh, down here we have a folder called tags. And these are all the different types of tags that you can add. A lot of these will be just used for analytics. Um, we're going to be looking at a marker, adding a marker tag here. So to add it, um, I like to do all these things in a sidebar. So I, I just open up my tag definitions on my one site solutions dictionary and drop it right there. Give it a name. So I can start setting up all my own tags in here just by dragging these on there. Um, and renaming them. So once they're in there, you can just duplicate them. You don't have to keep dragging them up and just rename that, that point you've duplicated. So you get the idea. So I won't go crazy and add too many. But now I've got a few, um, I've got the ones I want actually to show the next example of how to add a, a tag group definition. So a group's quite useful. So instead of adding lots of individual tags, you can group a load of them together um, and just add that one group tag. So to do that, you have to, uh, in your palette again, go to your tag group, drag that onto your tag group definition, give it a new name. So return, oh, sorry. Um, boiler return temp. Okay. It's all in camel case. That's how all the other dictionaries uh, are written as well. So kept, kept the same format there. So if I open this up now, uh, and now I just, all I need to do is add the three tags uh, from here into this tag list. So boiler. Just drag it down and uh, with your left button, mount left mouse button, return and temp. So now I can just add a tag group rather than adding all the, those three different um, tags. So if I go back down to my uh, my components in my playground, go to my boiler return temp, right click on it, say so edit tags. This time instead of using the haystack dictionary. If I look at my one site one, um, I can now either add the individual tags or I could add the tag group. So I can double click on it there. So now I've got a one site one as well as the um, haystack ones. So this means now when I do a search using my my new um, one site, sorry, my new one site namespace. So it'd be O for one site, my, my namespace. And now I can put in there boiler. And it should just come up with that boiler return because that's the only one I've added it to. So the same thing applies. So now I can just say, you know, uh, flow. And that will just, uh, sorry, return. I didn't add a flow, did I? So, so we'll find the return, you know, just. So you do the same thing if you were doing a query. Um, if you wanted to find that exact point, you could add all three of these to it so you can say uh, and o boiler so that's all three of the tags that belong to that point if i do a search now on those, those three it will find it it is um, case sensitive so if you did have a capital b obviously it wouldn't find anything because uh, that doesn't exist so you've got to be very careful with the text that you type in there um, so there are other ways of adding tags. This is a very nice and easy way of adding tags. So if I if I wanted to add a, a single tag to this boiler fault, um, I could just for my one site one, I could just add that fault, double click on it, and add it. I could add the boiler one, etc. Um, there is a quicker ways of doing this. Uh, there's a batch editor in your program service. Um, so let me just clear that and show you how I got that list. 
Um, so to to add something in batch editor, you do have to be very careful with batch editor. Uh, whatever I discover using my BQL query builder will be affected by whatever I do here. So if I just go to my playground, choose uh, control points, that will bring all my points in my um, playground area. And now whatever I do, will any point in this list will be affected. It's not just the one that's highlighted. I can highlight three. It won't just affect those three, it will affect everything in the list. So you do have to be very careful here. Um, and now I can just say edit to add, sorry, add tags at the bottom. And I can now just say I want to add a boiler tag to all of those points. So um, double click on it, add it to the bottom and save. And you can see now that all of those points have added, uh, have tags added to them. So now when I go back and do this same search at the top here, it will find all six of my points using my one site um, dictionary. Okay, so I hope that's been useful on uh, tags. Um, I am going to do one on smart tags as well, where you can uh, you can set up your own implied tags, um, which can be quite useful, especially for using the search feature. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and uh, don't forget to have a look at our website. See you next time.